Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, you know, uh, I just don't have a lot to say. I, uh, the news is just devastating to everybody uh, who knew him, known him a long time. And, uh, you know, he, he just, he, mean, he means a lot to me, obviously. Um, you know, he was such a great opponent, you know. Um, it's what you want in sports. Um, he had that, that DNA that, um, that very few athletes can ever have, you know, the, the Tiger Woods and the, the Michael Jordans, you know. Um, it's funny, I, uh, I've, I was getting to know him more since he retired, you know. Um, yeah, this is, this is a tough one, I don't, uh, I mean, we have to go play. Uh, I mean, the news is just so devastating for, for Vanessa and, and, his, and his family, and um, there's just so many people he touched, you know. Um, and, you know, it's, it's looking at my young players and, and seeing how emotional uh, they are. Um, they didn't even know him, you know, and uh, it just tells you how far his reach was. So, um, I mean, this is just shocking news for all of us. And sorry, I don't have a lot to say. Uh, I just can't uh, I have to go talk to a team uh, before a game and tell them to play. <laughs> What was your last interaction with, with Kobe like? That was great. We we were at a function um, about three or four weeks ago, and we sat and talked for probably 45 minutes. You know, we always like to to reminisce. Uh, we we would always laugh at our, our versions of our losses. You know, um, when we beat them in uh, 2008, he had his version, and when they beat us in 2010, I had my version, and, and we would laugh at how different. Uh, we looked at the games, you know. Uh, this is a great loss for the league. And I thought he had so much more left to do, you know, and he was starting to do it. Never seen him happier, you know. Um, so, I don't know. Do you feel blessed that you were able to? Yeah, I'm lucky that I was part, um, you know, I was, I'm lucky that I, uh, you know, got to coach and compete, you know, against him and, you know, and I, I feel for so many people. I mean, it's, it's obviously his family, you know, I can't imagine. Uh, you know, Lou played with him, Ty Lou played with him, Cliff uh, coached with him. Um, Kawhi was very, very close with him and so was Paul George. and. Um, and he, he meant a lot of good for our league, and especially the competitive part of our league. So, um, you know, sometimes things don't make sense, you know, and, and we, we, there, there's times you should feel, um, you know, just, just, you just feel sad, you know, and this is one of them, and, and you know, you have to get through it. Uh, we will, we all will, uh, we all have to, uh, be strong, um, you know. <laughs> you know, we we laughed and joked about the mama mentality. You know, um, we all we're all gonna need it right now. You know, and there's nobody. I think everybody right now is, is a Laker fan. You know, if you mean, we're all Lakers today. Um, you feel for that community, for Jeannie and, and everyone else. Um, I think people think because you compete against people sometimes that you don't have a relationship with them and you don't like and it's probably the exact opposite um i think sometimes the more you compete the more respect you have uh for the opponent you know um i would say that's the way i felt uh with kobe and so that's all i don't i just don't have a lot to say